My name is Alan Joel Belsberg, MD. I am a neurosurgeon here at Johns Hopkins Hospital and I work at the Kennedy Krieger Institute as well. I'm a professor of neurosurgery here at the Institute. The brachial plexus is a certain part of the body where peripheral nerves, the electrical cables that carry all the impulses, travel. And it's that area of the body where the nerves leave the spinal cord, come through this area, we call this the brachial plexus area. Nerves crisscross, get rather complicated in that area, and then continue down your arm to control the muscles and to give feeling to your arm, your hand, and so on. But the brachial plexus specifically refers to this area which is a rather complicated network of nerves. There are a number of ways that a brachial plexus can be injured. The most common way is a stretch, where the head goes one way, the shoulder goes the other way, and it stretches this area. And literally, the electric cables get stretched. It occurs commonly in the birthing process, where a baby gets stuck as the baby is being delivered. The shoulder gets stuck under the pelvis, and that's called dystocia. The head comes, the shoulder stays and therefore there's a separation and the nerves can get stretched, sometimes very severely. Other mechanisms include things like car accidents or trauma where a child may fall off a bicycle or have a fall off the monkey bars and again there's a stretch.